Hello guys, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys something you've been using for how to make your own modules on Python. Now you can actually make your own modules on Python, it's very easy and it's a, something that a lot of people have been having issues with and um, there is also this guy who commented on my video, like I said if you comment on my video and you win the spot, your name gets to be in my video. So I could use your name for a module name, or I could just mention your name, but his name is Fevers BRG. I hope I get the name right, else I'll be losing my subscribers. But please, if you do see this and you like this, please click on the like button, subscribe, and also comment underneath, and your name might be in my next video. Please make sure to check him out, he's a very cool nigger. Oh, maybe not a nigger, he's a very cool person, and please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Now to make a module in Python, you simply make a Python script. Like I told you guys before, if you take note or if you took note, a Python module is simply a Python script. So what we have to do to make a Python module is simply make another Python script. So first of all, before we start writing any kind of code here, let's head on to a new script and let's create a module. Let's go into file and let's just write in some functions. Now, if you didn't notice, this is the Python lab for Android I'm using. It's the one we downloaded recently. In case you guys didn't notice, it's not the normal one we're using. But if you're still using the normal one, it's actually the same thing. Both works fine. Anyone you want to use, you can use. So let's just create uh, a module. And inside this module, let's create a function. So let's define a function first of all. And this function, let's just call it um, multiply. So this function is going to multiply numbers. So let's just give it parentheses and give it two values. It's something very simple, doesn't have to be much, A and B. And let's just close this up. And in the next line, we have to use, um, I think we have to use, let's just print out the two values after we've multiplied them. So let's just say print A and multiply it by B. So once you've done, done that, you just close the parentheses, head on to the next two lines, and then you can call out your function and don't forget to add in the default parameters inside of your functions. So let's multiply two numbers, let's say 5 and 7. Now remember this function is going to help us multiply these numbers. Now since you've created a module, we have to save it with a name. And now we have to set the module name. So let's call this module Techmon. And let's save it. Now since this module has been created, we can now import it from our other scripts name test but before we do this something we have to verify verify now when creating module you can actually get this stuff from inside the module using from the name of the module which is segment import any of this stuff you have here but first of all let's add on to the other set on to the other module name we we're using test before let's open the test and let's try to import it if it will work imports tech month save this up and run let's see if it will work no we have an error sorry i have to remove your name it's kind of causing an error oh i think i should just comment it out i don't have to remove it it would be very rude to just slash out his name okay i think i should just comment this out and yeah we're good to go now since we've imported Techmon, let's see if it will work fine. And if it does, I'll explain to you guys. And if it doesn't, yeah, it works. Now since we've imported Techmon, Techmon is a module that helps you multi multiply numbers. Now we imported the module and we called the function. Now the reason why this is just printing out a file for us is because inside the module name Techmon, let's open that up for you so you can, you can see. It's not showing yet. You just head on back and refresh it. Okay, QPython, yep. Inside the module named Techmon, we actually called the function, that is why it's printing out. But if we're not to call the function, all we have to do is remove the function and then leave it this way. Head on to the other module named Test, open it up and run it. You see that your code does not run and does not give any output. Works the same. Now, remember I told you guys you can also import from an as. So, we can do import techmon or from techmon import 
the name of the module so we call the function name the multiply so multiply and head on to the next line and say multiply and you can give it two values let's say four and seven now notice that in this in this script we've written here we don't have any module or any variable name multiply but this will not give us any errors because we have all our scripts imported from the other module now the answer is 28 that is because the function called multiply helped us multiply these values here 4 and 7 so since this is working well we don't have any errors this is how we can actually create modules in cube python but there is something you should take note of it's not about where the module is it's about the location is placed now if you using the file explorer make sure that when you add to your sd card you add on to cube python and make sure that your python file is placed in the directory folder of this place that's where the dot py functions are underneath other these folders is where you post where you upload your python files so make sure it's inside this location storage emulated zero and cube python Make sure it's in this place before you can import your module. But that will be all for this video guys. Please leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe. Obviously like it. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.